I think osteopathic medicine is a profession. It's also a social movement. And it has tried to serve as an alternative, if you will, or a form movement of medicine. It has its own history. And no one had really documented that before. And I thought it important to document. Well, I first heard Dr. Gevitt's name about 40 years ago. I heard about this young sociologist doing a study on osteopathic medicine. I was quite impressed with how tenacious he was and how dependable his reporting was. Dr. Gevitz has an incredible uh, waterfront of experience. Uh, he has been an academic, a professor. He is the academic vice president now, which is essentially the provost of A.T. Still University. And he leads us and the directions of all the schools at the forefront and has brought us to preeminence in many, many areas. Of course, he's extremely knowledgeable in osteopathic medicine and health professions education, a long history there. He's one of the world's authorities on osteopathic medicine. Uh, so he's quite qualified and does a fantastic job. My book, The DO's Osteopathic Medicine in America, was first published in 1982. It's been in continuous publication since then going through three editions. I believe that, that it was important for osteopathic medicine to be known. Uh, no one had written extensively on the movement before. It was important to have some sort of voice that could create the cohesion that was necessary for the profession to be able to relate to one another. So he really had to do in-depth research, not just with the circumstance, but with the people who were involved in osteopathic medicine at the time. I thought it important for DOs themselves in terms of osteopathic identity formation. I think they needed to know about the history and the challenges that this profession has faced over the decades. So as a philanthropist, he has dramatically impacted osteopathic medicine. For example, there have been over 67 students received a scholarship from his philanthropic giving. And so for a foundation to also recognize Dr. Gevitz for his achievements, it's important that this aspect is included because giving is so important for all of us in the osteopathic community. The American Osteopathic Foundation is really a chance for us to come together and celebrate osteopathic medicine. They do a lot of things in regards to the, the health of osteopathic medicine and the organizations that support osteopathic medicine. Uh, but once again, taking that time to pause and look at and thank and reflect on the folks that have made a difference. It's very gratifying that Barbara has nominated me for this award. I, I, I'm just you know overwhelmed by this nomination. I tend to measure lifetime achievements based upon what that individual has contributed to the broader world. And I couldn't think of another person who has made a greater contribution to osteopathic medicine than Norm Gevitz. I am very proud of him. I am not only proud of him, I'm proud to know him. <laughs>